hello guys welcome to my page once again so there's this video trending online i don't know if you guys seen the video but i'm gonna show you the video right now where uh, equatorial guinea deporting nigerians and cameroonians so i want to show you guys the video i want you guys to watch the video first then we will discuss about the video thank you Cameroon says Equatorial Guinea has deported several hundred Cameroonians, some of whom say they were fleeing terrorist and rebel attacks at home. The government of Equatorial Guinea says the deportees were economic migrants and is planning to deport 7,000 Cameroonians in all by the end of the year. Scores of Cameroonians applauded Monday while welcoming back at least 200 of their citizens who were deported. But the well-wishers are not happy with Equatorial Guinea's actions. Civilians shouted that by deporting Cameroonians, the oil-rich country is being indifferent to people who have rendered services as mechanics, electricians, bricklayers, miners and other types of workers. Nganang Rigobert, one of the deported Cameroonians, says he lost his teaching job in Equatorial Guinea. Nganang says he, like many Cameroonians in Equatorial Guinea, are victims of what he calls the Cameroon government's lack of interest in the plight of its citizens outside the country. He says Cameroon should have negotiated for Equatorial Guinea to give Cameroonians more time to acquire resident and work permits. Nganang said several dozen of the deported Cameroonians fled their country in part because of its ongoing separatist crisis. Others left because of Boko Haram terrorism in the north. Some deportees said they were tortured and their property looted in Equatorial Guinea. Others said they spent several nights in detention centers and were freed after agreeing to return to Cameroon unconditionally. New Hobelo, the most senior Cameroon government official in Ocean, the administrative unit where Campo is located, says President Paul Bia asked him to receive the deported civilians and make sure they travel to their towns and villages in peace. Bello says Cameroonians who have arrived in Campo since Friday have confirmed to government officials that they were in the neighboring state illegally. He says some of the deportees told officials their visas had expired while others acknowledged lacking travel documents when they went to Equatorial Guinea. Bello called on Cameroonians staying in Equatorial Guinea illegally to return home or risk being locked up. Earlier in October, the government of Equatorial Guinea said it would embark on a mass deportation of people living illegally in its territory. Officials said insecurity has mounted due to an influx of about 30,000 economic migrants within the past three years. Equatorial Guinea accused job-seeking youths, especially from Cameroon and Nigeria, of harassment, theft and armed banditry. S. Umba Innocent is an economic analyst at the National University of Equatorial Guinea. He says in January 2020, the country signaled that it did not want illegal economic migrants in its territory and laid the foundation stone for construction of a border wall with Cameroon. Esamba says in June 2020, Equatorial Guinea agreed to pause the construction of the controversial wall after Cameroon, Nigeria, Chad and Central African Republic agreed to voluntarily repatriate their citizens living in Equatorial Guinea illegally. He says people who are being deported should not ask the government of Equatorial Guinea for compensation for goods they acquired when their stay was illegal. Equatorial Guinea is a tiny Central African nation of around 1.5 million people. The International Monetary Fund reports that the nation took in approximately $45 billion in oil revenues between 2000 and 2013 catapulting it from one of the world's poorest countries to the one with the highest per capita income. So guys, what do you think about the video you just watched now? Because to me, it makes no single sense. Some of them, they already build house. Some of them already have businesses. Some of them have properties. Now you deport them without them going with their properties. So it makes no sense. Are you trying to steal their property from them? Because they can't go with their property. So most of them now will go back to their country. Then some of some are commit suicide. Because now they have to start from zero level. This is our brother. Why are we being racist to ourselves? If this kind of thing happen in uh, in Europe or any other continent, we will be the first person to come out and be screaming shouting like they've been racist they've been doing this they've been that but we if we black we've been racist to ourselves 
you know why because i don't know why like african to africa i don't know why we have to pay for visa before you go to your neighbor's country in your continent i don't so why, why are we calling it a continent so why do i have to pay for visa before i can go to your country see how we treat our brother see how we we anchor everybody like as if they kill or as if they they they, they, they are thief it makes no sense I think uh, African leaders, you guys need to come together and address this issue. It makes no sense. You guys have to address this issue. If not, if you guys to uh, like uh, create a program that will allow immigrants uh, to be able to work, how are we going to show love to ourselves when it's some years back Ghana deporting Nigeria, some years back Nigeria deporting Ghana, Ghana Ghanaians? It makes no sense. How long are we going to continue this? We don't love ourselves. This, this, this is the main issue. We don't love ourselves. There is no love in this continent. I think we need to do something. Or what do you guys think? Drop your comments at the comment section. Let me know your take. Let me know your points. Let me know what you think we can do to stop this. You know. So thanks for watching my video, guys.